Healing is both spiritual and physical. It comes to us when we believe the gospel. The move of the gospel according to the rivers of life you have in Ezekiel 47. Anywhere it goes from verses 8 to 11, it brings healing. Wherever the gospel flows, any light that gospel touches, it brings healing. Healing to our spiritual being and to our physical being. Jeremiah 17, 14 say, Lord, heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved and I will praise your name. In Romans 1, 16, Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Now, the power in the gospel, not only saving grace, not only salvation, even in salvation is healing. You can only experience a power when you believe. And you don't believe with our head. We believe with our heart. Until you believe in your heart, you will not experience the power of the gospel to heal. And God delights in our awareness, in spirit, soul, and body. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in head, even as your soul prospered. So God desires and he delights. God is never good when you are sick. Just like our parents will never be good. You know when we were small, do you remember? <laughs> when we were small, when you are sick, your parents are in trouble. Even today, those of you that are your parents, whenever any of your children is not well, you will be discomfortable. You will do your best, anything at your disposal to get this, your child, back to his or her feet. So, in the same vein, God delights in our awareness, in spirit, in our soul, and our body. Jesus Christ has suffered for our diseases and bore our pain. He had borne our pain on the cross. So, we need not to bear any disease or sickness again in our body. What Jesus has carried away, why will I be carrying it? What Jesus has bought for us, he had carried them away. He had suffered. Part of what made Jesus to go to the cross is this issue of sicknesses and diseases. So, we don't need to bear such pain again. 